This video contains spoilers from the TV show White Lotus, so do not watch it, because it will actually probably spoil some of it. Um, so, in the show, um, this woman is a tech CEO, and she's a white woman, and she's talking about how um, boys have it hard nowadays, like uh, white boys specifically, and um, and she's she's complaining about it. And there's this black girl, or she's like mixed, mixed race probably, she looks kind of Hawaiian, and she's looking at her, and she, you can tell she's getting so pissed off from this, because like her talking about this is so offensive to this girl. And it's not the first time she's been offended by something that someone said about race. And, um, and this girl end up, ends up wanting to steal from these people, because she doesn't want, because she's, she's so pissed off about what they're saying, that's kind of what sets her off. And um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this book. There's a book called The Problem With Our Boys or something like that about how boys are falling behind in school because there's such an emphasis on women and then women are actually better at school. And so more women are college graduates nowadays than men um, because women are like more organized. I think it might might be have to do with um, maternal instincts where they women have to multitask more and they have to be organized to like take care of children and stuff. I don't know what it is from their genetics, but women tend to be organized and that's what really matters in school. And um, so, uh, like what, what it, as it turns out, a lot of boys are having trouble in school um, for a lot of different reasons. And, um, and, the, and the book is about how we need to actually care, like nurture our boys and encourage them to be successful. Not like me, you gotta follow God. Like, like I had, I've kind of been blind my whole life because no one really explained to me how life works. And then now I'm an adult and I'm like, okay, good thing I didn't know that or else I'd be rich. <laughs> so all I'm saying is um, when we talk about um, what I said in my last video about this black on white crime problem, like violent crime, white, white people commit very few violent crimes against black people compared to black on white crime, even though there are more white people than black people in the United States. White people vastly under, like over... Are, are, are vastly out, they vastly outnumber the black people, but the black people commit more violent crimes against white people each year. And like as a percentage of their of, of black people, it's like high up there. And so all I'm saying is like, could that be relate to this bitterness um, towards white people? Like, or is it is it, is it envy? Um, I don't know. I think that a lot of I I don't think that it's everyone, but I think that sometimes like when you're looking for someone to commit a, a crime against. You definitely want to do it against the person that was like, because she, this girl in the show, she's basically she basically blames them for stealing the island from these brown people. The white people stole the island, and so they're, she's blaming this female tech CEO that has absolutely nothing to do with stealing the island. But it's it's kind of like me blaming all black people for a black person holding a gun on me and another black person punching me in the face. Like, do I blame all black people for that? I mean, obviously I don't. And like that's something that was actually like done in my lifetime, and I mean I'm 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 just saying at some point, um, some people need to stop blaming everyone for everything, and I mean I, I know everyone is so offended by the fact that Kanye said um, slavery is a slavery is a decision, but for some people it really was, and it was and, and in my opinion slavery was a mindset. And um, some people like made that decision, the decision to be slaves, based on the fact that um, that um, I don't think it was all the majority of times it wasn't a decision. Because when you're kept stupid by your by your owner, then you aren't making a decision. Like you're not, you're not deciding to be a slave. You have no choice because you're so, you you're you are kept in the dark. Uh, so I, I I'm, all I'm saying is. Um, I don't know why I brought that up. I should not have brought that up. Um, but what I am saying is that a lot of people are bitter about something that happened like 300 years ago, or how, I don't even know how many years ago, 18, 19, yeah, uh, 200 and something years ago. So I'm talking about slavery. And then they want to, if they want to get revenge on someone because I don't have enough money, sometimes they want to take it out on white people. And I don't believe that's always the case. But I believe that people that do that um, give other black people a reputation which has like ruined it for people that are that, that are black men especially like you want to talk about the problem with boys black men are like everything's against black men and that's why like i have i i, I am a firm believer in helping people that um when that life is against them but then like do we want to help black men 
Like clearly we don't, but it's 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 all men right now. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't nurture. Like if I'm living in Afghanistan, I need to focus on saving the women. If I'm if I'm if I'm like living in the United States and I really want my country to flourish, I need to focus on the boys because like they're the ones that no one cares about. That people need to make sure that you go. All right, guys, come on, compete with these girls. Like I mean, it's like I know it's weird, but the because. The world's not about being able to fight nowadays. The world is about um, being able to do something no one else can do and do it better than everyone else.